big man I just want to fight with everyone else un botijo. Un botijo. Un botijo, ¿no? Casi, casi un botijo. Para beber agua y eso. Contiene líquido. Un botijo, ¿no? En las películas de estas de la Edad Media o así. ¿Y por qué ya no se bebe un botijo? Porque ahora ya las botellas de plástico y ya no se va al campo como antes. ¿Qué bondades tiene? Porque el agua del botijo sabe diferente. Está fresca, está muy buena. ¿Qué tiene el botijo para que sea así? Si we want to cool water with a botijo, we first have to fill the botijo with water. Then we have to wet the outside of the botijo and leave the botijo in a hot place where the sun can evaporate the water outside the botijo. So let's imagine that the water inside is 28 degrees. And as we leave the botijo in a hot place, the water outside will start the evaporation process. This water needs a lot of energy to transform and to get it, it can take it through pores that are a little holes in the botijo that can pass energies of the water inside to the water outside. And what happens when we take energy from a liquid that the temperature degrees? And this is how we get cold water. Finally, I have found an experiment. These two containers have been all night on this table filled with water and let's see which one is colder. The water in the bottle was at 30 degrees and let's see the botijo. As you can see, the water in the botijo is colder and that demonstrates all the theory of the botijo is true.